Transmission and storage are starting to get the recognition they deserve, but they've been ignored for too long. There is a growing attention to transmission, but we need more. Energy storage is really important to balance out the grid when renewables aren't producing. You need a really smart backbone to keep that power organized. It's probably the best moment to be in this industry in terms of innovation, application of technologies to real-time challenges, as well as impact in the society itself. The electrical grid is one of the most important inventions of humanity. However, traditional grid needs to adapt. From the network's point of view, it is critical for the objectives of the world as well as of the US in terms of decarbonization and electrification of the economy to achieve a much more cleaner energy mix. The smart grid is a grid that will be more resilient and more robust than the grid that we currently have. There are going to be millions of smart cars, millions of smart buildings, and all of those are going to need to be coordinated. And so that now means that we have a grid that has two-way flows of electricity, and we also have a massive amount of digital information moving across the grid as well. We have been investing in smart grid technologies for, for many years now. The focus of all our efforts are to do our smart grid investments in the most efficient way, and we want them to be applied to real-life challenges in our network. We're going to have lots of new renewables on the grid that don't necessarily produce all the time. And that means we have to transmit the electricity differently. As the grid becomes more constrained, storage provides a whole set of functions. We need to consider how the technologies will evolve and also adapt our deployment to these evolutions. The Global Smart Grids Innovation Hub is more than an incubator. It is for us a tool to accelerate innovation through collaboration with startups, universities, laboratories, and also big companies. This hub allows the third-party providers to have access to our challenges and provide their solutions. The advances we are doing in the low-voltage management of the grid, both with automation devices and also from the system's point of view, we replicate our substations in the field so we are able to understand real-time how they are performing. We may be able to predict failures, improve the way we design new substations in the future. Some of them may apply machine learning, artificial intelligence algorithms, and at the end, you get a result which will help you to make decisions based on the data. Transmission and storage are really starting to get some serious attention in the U.S. There's billions of dollars which will flow into this, as well as important tax incentives that will give the private sector encouragement to invest. The U.S. government just passed a big policy that's going to really push transmission and storage in the United States. The infrastructure bill and the related bills that followed it are going to put a lot of money into the electricity system, but we're going to need to follow those up with further investments in the future. It's the human side, not the technology side. So figuring out how to allocate the costs of these upgrades in a fair and equitable way that maintains affordability, but also improves reliability and resilience. It is critical service for the energy transition. And with the collaboration we have, we can scale that in terms of volume and impact to achieve a large deployment in our network.